Hello everyone, welcome back to Exanor 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the current affairs on 17th January 2023. Do watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in the comment section. Let's begin the session. The naval exercise Varuna is between India and which country? France. The 21st edition of the bilateral naval exercise between India and France exercise Varuna commenced on the western seaboard. The bilateral exercise between the two navies was initiated in 1993 and was christened as Varuna in 2001 and has become a hallmark of India-France's strategic bilateral relationship. The exercise will be conducted till the 20th January and will witness advanced air defense exercise, tactical maneuvers, surface firings, underway replenishment and other maritime operations. Let's talk about France. Where is the capital of France? Paris, who is the Prime Minister of France, Elizabeth Bourne, who is the President of France, Emmanuel Macron. What is the currency of France, Euro and CFP franc? Which state will host the first Health Working Group meeting under India's G20 Presidency? Kerala. The first health working group meeting under India's G20 presidency will be held in Tirandaburam during January 18 to 20, the Union Health Ministry said. Tracking health emergencies, preparedness and response, strengthening cooperation in the pharmaceutical sector, and digital health innovation and solutions are the three priorities under Health for India. In its G20 presidency, the ministry said. Let's talk about Kerala. Where is the capital of Kerala? Tiruvannathapuram. Who is the chief minister of Kerala? Pinrai Vijayan. Who is the governor of Kerala? Arif Mohammad Khan. Let's talk about India's G20 presidency. India assumed the presidency of the G20 on December 1st, 2022. What is the theme of India's G20 Presidency? Vasudeva Kudumbagam or One Earth, One Family, One Future? Who is India's G20 Sherpa? Amitabh Kant. Note on these important points. Jellikattu is associated with which Indian state? Tamil Nadu. Jellikattu is typically practiced in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu as part of Pongal celebrations on Matu Pongal Day, which occurs annually in January. Certain regions of Tamil Nadu has been the host to the bull taming sport of Jellikattu. It is believed to be at least 2000 years old and integral to the celebration of Pongal in the south and central districts of Tamil Nadu, a veritable Chilikattu belt. Let's talk about Tamil Nadu. Where is the capital of Tamil Nadu? Chennai. Who is the chief minister of Tamil Nadu? M.K. Stalin. Who is the governor of Tamil Nadu? R. N. Devi. Let's move to the next question. Which state launched the shared school bus system and the agriculture response vehicle scheme? Meghalaya. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konad Sangapa launched the shared school bus system, prime tourism vehicles, and the agriculture response vehicle scheme. 
the shared school bus system will help to minimize the traffic congestion in the capital city of Meghalaya, Shillong. It will create a mode shift in school travel from private two-wheelers to school buses in Shillong city. Let's talk about the Agriculture Response Vehicle Scheme. The vehicles are given to farmers, associations and groups so that the farmers will have a strong transportation network which will ultimately help the farming sector in the state. Let's talk about Meghalaya. Where is the capital of Meghalaya? Shillong. Who is the chief minister of Meghalaya? Konad Sangama. Who is the governor of Meghalaya? Dr. P. D. Mishra. Which district of Kerala has been considered the first constitutionally literate district of India? Kollam. Kerala's Kollam has been declared as the first constitutionally literate district in the country if it achieved through the citizen a constitutional literacy campaign jointly launched by the Kollam District Panchayat, District Planning Committee and the Kerala Institute of Local Administration. You can expect a question like this. India's first constitutionally literate district, Kollam, is situated in which state? It is in Kerala. Let's move to the next question. Who has won the Miss Universe 2022 title? Arboni Gabriel. Miss USA Arboni Gabriel, a fashion designer from the Philippines, was named as the 71st Miss Universe. She is the first Filipino American to win the prestigious title. Arboni Gabriel from USA crowned by Harna Sandu from India, who was crowned Miss Universe 2021. What is the theme of the World Economic Forum meeting 2023? Cooperation in a fragmented world. The annual World Economic Forum meeting would be held in Davos, Switzerland from January 16 to 20. The theme of this year's World Economic Forum meeting is cooperation in a fragmented world, which aims to address the pressing issues the world is facing and promote innovative solutions. Let's talk about the World Economic Forum. The World Economic Forum is the international organization for public-private cooperation. The forum engages the foremost political, business, cultural and other leaders of society to shape global, regional and industry agendas. It formed in January 1971. Where is the headquarters of WEF? Colony, Switzerland who is the executive chairman of WEF, Claude Schwab, who is the president of WEF, Bergi Brenda. Let's move to the next question. Which institution has released the Global Risk Report 2023? World Economic Forum, WEF. What is the main point in this report? The World Economic Forum in its Global Risk Report 2023 warned that the world could see a polycrisis emerging from the Russia-Ukraine war. What is polycrisis? The term is when multiple crises take place across global systems and get entangled in ways that significantly degrade humanity's prospects. These interacting crises produce harms greater than the sum of those the crises would produce in isolation, where their whole systems not so deeply interconnected. Which movie won the Critics' Choice Award for Best Foreign Language Film 2023? RRR. S.S. Rajamoli's RRR. Film scored two awards. RRR won Best Song Award for Natu Natu as well as Best Foreign Language Film. 
RRR was also nominated for Best Director, Best Picture, and Best Visual Effects. The film had earlier scored a victory at the Golden Globes, as the song Nata Nato won the Best Original Song Award. Note on this point also. Let's move to next question. Which is the first European country to have a reciprocal access agreement with Japan? UK, United Kingdom. The UK will be the first European country to have a reciprocal access agreement with Japan and only the third country to do so. Australia and Japan signed a similar agreement in early 2022, while United States forces operate under a status of forces agreement. What is a reciprocal access agreement? It refers to a bilateral defense and security pacts between Japan and governments that provide shared military training and military operations. It is an agreement to build to create a framework for the two cooperating countries to move their military force whenever required and also provides a pathway for goods to be imported and exported from one country to the other through following the movement of visiting military forces. Let's talk about the UK. Where is the capital of UK? London. Who is the Prime Minister of the UK? Rishi Sonak. What is the currency of the UK? Pound sterling. Let's talk about Japan. Where is the capital of Japan? Tokyo. Who is the Prime Minister of Japan? Fumio Kishida. What is the currency of Japan? Japanese Yen. Let's check previous two question and answer. What is India's rank in the Henley Passport Index? 85. India improved its position by two sports from last year and has been ranked 85th on the index list. The Henley Passport Index is a global ranking of countries according to the travel freedom enjoyed by the holders of that country's ordinary passport for its citizens. According to the Henley Passport Index, which is the most powerful passport in the world. The Japanese passport is the most powerful among all passports in the world as it allows visa-free access to as many as 193 countries. Meanwhile, Singapore and South Korea have attained joint second on the ranking. Let's check today's question. What is the theme of National Science Day 2023? Please type your answer in comment section. And type when is National Science Day is absurd. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, Please like the video and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.